Hey everyone, welcome to my explanations about Japanese cultures and customs. In this series, I will pick one topic about Japanese cultures and customs and give you some of my insight. Today, I will talk about um, the custom that Japanese people take off their shoes in their houses. So first of all, Japanese houses are made differently. So if you go into a typical Japanese house, uh, there is a one big step up. So usually before stepping up, you will take off your shoes. At the bottom of the step, you have to leave your shoes. So once you step up, that's the no shoes zone. So for Japanese people, there is a clear line. So before the line, which is a big step up, that's um, shoes okay zone. And once you step up, that's no shoes zone. So they usually know uh, no shoes zone and shoes okay zone. And if that is not clear, um, people usually ask the owner of the house, uh, like, where should I take off my shoes? Or where should I leave my shoes? In Japanese, you could say, Doko de kutsu wo noitara ii desu ka? That's where should I take off my shoes? Doko ni kutsu wo oitara ii desu ka? That's where should I leave my shoes? So those are typical questions that you could ask to the owner of the house before entering the house. So people um, take off their shoes not only in the house, but sometimes at school or um, temples and shrines. So for me, for some reason, at my preschool and my uh, elementary school, we had to take off our shoes and change to um, uchibaki. So uchibaki means um, like inside on your shoes maybe. Uchi means inside and baki means something to wear. So when you go to a temple or shrine, sometimes they require you to take off your shoes before going into the building. And sometimes there is Sunoko, uh, which means duck board or slatted wood before stepping up into a temple or shrine. So on the sunoko, duck board or slatted wood, that is a no shoe zone. So before uh, stepping up onto the board, you have to take off your shoes. And typically at those um, public places, there are uh, shoe racks or shoe boxes. So you have to take your shoes into those shoe rack or a shoe box. And no one usually steal your shoes. Uh, there's a word that I want to teach you. Uh, we use the word dosoku. So dosoku means not taking off shoes. Do means dirt, soku means uh, foot. So it means uh, shoes okay or um, not taking off your shoes. For example, Watashi no gakko dosoku nan da yo ne. So this speaker is ex explaining that uh, her school is shoes okay. Another example is Dosoku de haitchattan da yo ne. So dosoku de, that is uh, without taking off your shoes. So this sentence means uh, someone went in, into somewhere without taking off their shoe, uh, of his shoes. Thank you for watching. Mata ne.